Hello. I'm gonna do a little bit of a different type of video this week. It's not informative, it's not business related, it's just self-harm. Howdy, what's kicking chicken? You're back in tune to your favorite wanker. Big up chucks for the food. Take this off because it's actually warm. I tattooed something on my leg when I was younger. But not really much experience at all with a tattoo machine. I've decided that I'm going to film myself finishing off my tattoo. So basically this video is gonna be me talking shite, answering some questions that I've received online, and I'll do a backflip at the end. How about that? I must say though, before I begin, do not tattoo yourself if you're not trained to do so. If you want a quality piece of artwork, go pay the money to a proper artist to get their artwork on your body. They train to do this kind of stuff. All right, I'm ready. You guys ready? So I'm gonna do some Q and A's in this video as well. First question is, who am I and what do I do? My name's Kanai, and I'm an artist, illustrator, and creator, and a full-time disappointment based in Vancouver, BC. But I am Irish. I'm 28, and I like drum and bass, and long walks in the beach. What art do you most identify with? And he asks. Cubism, pop surrealism. I'm not even gonna say Picasso or Dali. Um, I like George Kondo. A Vancouver-based artist, uh, Paul Du Goethe. He makes the native-esque style um, paintings. Um, very trippy. Very unique. I really dig his style. And Paul Klee, of course. So yeah, basically, um, some themes of In a lot of my paintings, there's like, you'll see very details that um, will tell a story. But, I mean, the thing about art is it's completely subjective, so it can mean something completely different to you. As long as you connect with it, that's cool. What jobs have you done other than an artist? Worked in a supermarket, yeah. horse farm, a factory, Corporate office, server, cafe. I ran this Lido, just like a pool that was up on this top of this valley in Malta. I was a pool boy, essentially. But mainly I was a bartender um, for many years, just up until the pandemic, which is when I decided to do Star Prince of Cabin. Um, I found that bartending made me very angry. Like dealing with drunk people, it's not easy. And this is what made me do the leap. Professionally, what is your goal? Well, it's recent enough. I'd like to continue learning and exploring um, my creativity and see where it leads and hopefully make an impact um, to someone or multiple people and allow me to open up my own studio where I'll have a personal assistant, a creative space that people can learn and explore their creativity in a nice, friendly, safe environment and essentially create a community. 
That's my answer. And I'm done. And this. These are the tattoos. And that's it, baby. Okay, I'm done now. If you made it this far, congratulations. You're like the only person. But seeing as you did make it this far, go ahead and click that like button. Every like on this video goes toward my nan getting rid of her chlamydia. Do it for my nan. If you thought that chap's an awful dickhead, you know you gotta hit that subscribe so you can get updates from your favorite dickhead every week, every Wednesday. That's when I release videos. But you know that already. And if you got some death threats for me, leave them in the comments. I love waking up on Thursday morning to read them. But if you want to say something nice, it's also appreciated. As always, thank you very much to these guys, my patrons. Patreon is a little added bonus for me every month that allows me to do what I do. And I'm eternally grateful to everyone who has supported me so far. If you'd like to support these silly videos along with my artwork, you can do so by clicking here. But that's all I have for you guys this week. I'm gonna go put some ice on my leg. No, I shouldn't do that. I'm gonna call it a night, even though it's only two o'clock in the day. I've had a tough week. As always, have a great week and take her handy. But if she's handy, take her twice.